Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Paul Morana and I am going to be one of the judges for the Pow Automate Community Challenge. In this challenge, we hope that you guys will produce some Power Automate flows that demonstrate how Power Automate can help you in your personal or home life by just reminding you to do things or looking up things online or anything that you can think of, even controlling appliances in your home to, uh, to make life just a little bit easier. And then hopefully you can sort of migrate those skills that you've learned in your work life to your home life and vice versa. And so what I'm gonna do is demonstrate quite a simple flow that I used for myself um, that helps me out sometimes just to give you a bit of inspiration. Um, and then hopefully we'll see even better flows from you guys. So I am just going to step right in and start building this. Um, now this flow, what it does or what it will do, because I'm going to build it from scratch, is to remind me on a particular day when I'm in a particular area that I need to go to the supermarket and pick up ingredients for a recipe because it means I'm going to be cooking dinner that night. So I'm just going to start with the trigger. Um, and I enter or exit an area. This is a uh, new-ish trigger that happens based upon when you go in or out of an area. So I'm gonna say create trigger region. So my house is just over here, and this is the supermarket here, and this is my son's school here. So when I go and pick him up on a Tuesday, I need to remember to go to the supermarket, which is here. And when I go to the school, I walk down this little road here, cross over this car park and go down this path. So I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to make that my, my catchment area. So I'm going to save that there and it'll automatically put in the latitude and the longitude of where I'm going to be. So that's got a, a 50 meter radius and I will cross over that boundary every time I go and pick him up. So and I'm, I'm actually going to delete this trigger in a minute because I can't make this trigger without getting out of my desk and walking there. So we'll, we'll, we'll do it manually. But I only want this to happen on Tuesday and currently this would execute every single time I go in and out of that area. And because I take him to school every day, that will trigger every single time. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a compose action. I'm just going to get the current day. So I'm going to do format date time. Actually, I think there's a weekday function, day of week. I'll do day of week, the UTC now. I think, so the day of the week at the moment is Thursday. And I think Thursday is day five. Now you see, I can't trigger this for testing because it's when I enter or exit an area. So I am going to delete that for now and just make it a flow button and I'll put that back in at the end. Um, and I just need to figure out which day is Tuesday. I think zero is Sunday and one is Monday. So we're at day four now. So Tuesday will be two. So I know my day of week is going to be two. I'm going to do a condition and I'm going to do expression day of week is equal to two. So I can get rid of that now. I'm going to rename this Tuesday. Now this will work fine and it will only trigger on a Tuesday. When I enter the area, it will check if it is Tuesday. And then I'm just going to have it send me a my bar notification. It's going to say, you are making dinner tonight. I'm going to include the link to this recipe, which I generally make on a Tuesday night, this broccoli and lemon pasta. So I'm going to include the link. And I'm going to just put the title in there as well, broccoli and lemon pasta. And then press save. 
And if I run this now, you will see that it won't actually work because it's checking for Tuesday and it is not currently Tuesday. So I'm going to change that and pretend I'm going to do this on Thursday by setting that to four there. If I test that now, that's worked. And I just got a notification on my phone from Flo that says, you are making dinner tonight. And if I open that, it should take me off to the supermarket website and remind me of everything that I need to buy. But now the fundament of this flow is built, but it isn't going to work for two reasons. The first is that I've still got my Tuesday set to Thursday, so I'll set that back. And I've also still got it manually triggered. And I can change the trigger now so that it does work based on a geographical area. So I'm going to put that geolocation back when I enter or exit an area. And once again, try and find my supermarket. That is the path that I'm going to walk down there. I'll zoom it out to about here, and then I'll definitely get snagged by the trigger. There is actually something to note if you do use this um, location trigger, you need to change the settings on your phone so that it can always track your location. Otherwise, it won't work because it won't have the access to your location. But once you've done that, then you can trigger any event based on your location. Um, and so that should now do everything we need. And it will take us straight to the broccoli and lemon pasta recipe. And I'll be prepared to go straight into the supermarket after school and pick up the ingredients. So we've seen how Power Automate can be both useful in your work and personal life. And as a result of that, this community challenge has been launched to see what ideas you can come up with. Head over to the forums submit your flow and if you get stuck with an idea that you're trying to build just reach out and either myself or one of the other super users will try our best to help you out and we're really really excited to see what you come up with good luck